All right, everyone. Welcome to Uncle, Bron- Uncle Bronson's podcast. Uh, really excited to have Caden here from Alabama, tight end. Uh, Caden, yep. man, thanks so much for jumping on with me today, man. Heck yeah. I mean, this is something I want to get, I want to get contacted with you, get on the horn with you a little bit. I mean, I've been seeing everything going on. It's just awesome to finally get a chance to talk on the phone and get a good conversation. Yeah, man. Oh, awesome. So, so why don't you go ahead and tell a little bit about yourself, where you're from, like, tell us your football story. I got you. Um, I'm currently a sophomore at, um, Alabama. I play tight end here, number 87. Um, I, uh, I, I mean, football is my life, man. I'm, I've, I've uh, grown up. I started playing when I was five years old, tackle football. My dad told us, me and my brother, when we were five years old, you guys are going to be on athletic scholarship at the biggest D1 school. And, I mean, I tried to live out his dream, and I made it my dream. You know what I mean? So this is my life. I love it. I'm, I love every single day showing up to watch film with Coach O'Brien. I mean, that's like I'm living a dream every single day, you know. So I, I'm, fr- I'm from Ohio, Akron, Ohio, Cleveland, Cleveland area. So – I'm, I, I bounce all over Ohio, but I'm from Ohio, and I wanted to make the trip down south because I heard they play good football down here, you know? <laughs> they do. They definitely yep. do. Roll Tide, baby. Uh, yeah, Roll Tide. <laughs> so, that, man, that's awesome, man. I mean, to live out your dad's dream. That's, Heck, yeah. That's cool. Does he – has he been to some games? Uh, he – yeah, yeah, He's He's been to a couple of games. He got to go to my spring game. It was the first time I actually got to play a good bit, so it was pretty cool, like – him seeing me out there and then after the game seeing everybody it kind of sucked because COVID wasn't we weren't allowed to hug after the game and stuff but yeah it's yeah. cool that he was able to be there and like I was walking in the tunnel and they're playing rock music and there's like 5,000 people around and I thought they weren't in the get I, I thought they couldn't make it to see me walk in and then right before I went into the stadium they were there at the front like waiting for me and I was like oh crap so it was cool <laughs> it was a cool moment I was just happy to, them to be all there you know yeah I love that man I I remember my sister my sister came to a game, uh, my first NFL game, and and it was my first time starting. And yeah, she was like emotional, like she was like crying because she was just, you know, I mean, people don't understand. Like it's a big well, moment. They don't know all the mo- all the seconds and hours and days that go into that. You know, no, for real. And like everyone's a piece of it in your family because they literally you know, they help you. They see you grinding, and they kind right. of have like an inside scoop of what's like what you're you know, what you've given up just to get to where exactly. you, are, you know, like yep. the opportunity, man, that's cool. So what is it like? I mean, a lot of people are probably wondering what's it like to play Alabama? Like a lot of, a lot of people are probably wondering that right now. I mean, if I can compare it to anything, it'd be like a well-oiled machine that is just, I like the best, best business, best machine that you could think of. And they're just, they're just turning every single day. There's no there's no step steps backwards. Every single day is a step forward. You're like, just every day you show up, you're like, all right, I want to get better today. We we have a saying at Bama here. We say stack days, stack days every single day. So every ta- every time I go in there, I want to be like, what can I improve on this day? Every single practice, what can I improve to get better at? Little stuff like footwork or maybe keeping your hands inside or maybe just finishing blocks or something like that. I mean, yeah. I mean, the, the biggest thing is details here. Coach Saban's all about his details and routine yeah. and making sure everybody's coming ready to work every single day. So, yeah. I mean, I, I love it. I'm a, I'm a football fan. So just being yeah. here and being around everything and being in the locker room with the guys, you're almost like, dang, this is crazy. Like, this is my team. You know what I mean? And then yeah. once you feel, once you get, once you get to a point where you feel like you belong, that's when it's like really like clicks, like, I'm here for a reason, you know. I, that's where I'm at right now. I love it. I'm just happy to be here, and we got some good players. This team, this team is really good, man. Yeah. No, oh, man. Yeah. It's so, it's so fun, man. Watching Alabama yeah. and just year in year out, just yep. You know, re, like you said, they just stack. <laughs> and it, it's, yeah, it's fun to. It's like re, it's like, want to be a part re, of that. it's like reloading, never rebuilding. You just reload with the guys, you know. Yeah. No, dude, that's so cool. So uh so you grew up in Ohio played there and then, and then went to Alabama uh yeah I want to I uh won a one three or four state championships in high school we were we were really good oh, high school real. so yeah we've been winning high. for a long time now <laughs> yeah my junior year we were number six in the nation so it's pretty oh, cool man. like a small a small private school from Akron was able to do a lot of football so yeah. we have a my running back from high school one of my best friends that I grew up with is a starting running back at Arizona State now so we got a lot of guys that are playing college football. So I've been, I've been lucky to play with really great players and just 
have great attitudes around me that just make you a better person, you know? So yeah. I'm happy to be here. And it honestly feel that doesn't feel that different from high school just because I'm used to like expecting you to be the best, you know, like that's what it's always been. Yeah. Every, every day you got to show up and exactly. Gonna, yeah. You're going to, you're going to gain something that day. Like you're going to get right. Better. Like, yeah, that's a, man, that's a good mindset. That That's a huge thing that like, I feel like as an athlete, if you learn that, then it takes you, you know, it can take you so far and Definitely. on the field, off the field, no matter what environment you get in, right. Like you're always going to be working to be better each day. It's just a For sure, man. It's just, yeah, I love that. Okay. So uh, what do you think about NIL name, image? And uh, it's, it's crazy to like, it feels like history is happening. You know, like it's weird. Like you're in it, like, stuff's happening and it's starting to become normal almost like commercials with college guys and like teammates. And it's so awesome because like, it's almost like you're watching guys when you see guys that are, that, you know, work their butt off and they finally get it paid off in the game and they're doing great. It's almost like that. You're like, dang, they're doing like the thing and you're happy for your guys. Like each guy gets something out of a, a cut of it. You know what I mean? It's awesome to see guys starting to get what they deserve, you know, for so many years, like there's so many players that have just, worked their butt off and not really got a cut out of it and just got the short end of the stick. And yeah. now we're finally starting to like make headway in where I feel like we should have been for a long time, you know? Yeah, no, I agree. There's so much, there's so much, you know, that there's so much that athletes do behind the scene just to yeah. a high level. And then they do so much for their school and uh, Definitely. Alabama, like, so like the football team, I mean, <laughs> it's done so much <laughs> you know what yeah I mean? and definitely. really no one's been paid so it's it's nice now that you can get you know compensated exactly. for your hard work and right dedication and, and you're building I mean coach Saban talks all the time building value for yourself building your brand and I feel like we're finally able to actually have a brand now you know like before mm -hmm. you weren't really allowed to have any kind of brand you were just kind of like a last name on a jersey and then hopefully you go after that play after that and then it was just like if not, then there's nothing else. But now it's finally like you have a brand, which is not going to only help you in football, but a job. You could get a job later in, in, in your career. You know what I mean? That's it's just so many ways that this is beneficial for everybody, you know? Yeah, no. Yeah, it's I love it, honestly. And that's why yeah. I, that's why I chose to get involved and create Connect NIL. Because I was like, Heck yeah, I got to help. I got to help out. Like I, you know, for me, you know, I had fam. I have a lot of family that, uh, you know, plays college sports and they know. Like I do a lot of things off the field and I, I like getting into the business world outside of football when I'm, you know, in the off seasons and stuff. And, and so for when sure to me to help out, I was like, yeah, like let, let's, let me figure out what I can do. And so I felt like it was like a, you know, when you go from like college where it's just sports and school, and then you have like the pros where it's like your sport and business. Right. I, I need to be almost like a bridge to help, you know, kind of like, help everyone kind of see exactly. this how it works. This is what you can do. Vision, like, or if it's a vision, open people's eyes. And I mean, from, I mean, from day one, I've seen everything that you guys have been doing and able to help guys out that just don't, I mean, even me, I, I knew there was people that I could get connected with and could talk to and, and work stuff out. It's just like, you need that bridge or that, that connection, you know what I mean? To even get the conversation started. And yeah. that's what you guys have been doing. I, it's awesome to see. No, yeah, no, man. Appreciate it. Yeah, we're we're excited for what's coming and where this is gonna go. So it's gonna. Yeah, be you got to think like, what's it gonna look like in two years? What's it gonna look like in six months? Like, yeah, you have no idea, really. It's it's awesome to be a part of it, be yeah. in it. No, yeah, man. No, yeah, dude. We're we're excited to have you, and it's just gonna. It's just like you said. You never know, which is cool. We can just help. If you know, it's built to help as many college athletes and businesses as possible. And that's right. what I love about it. It's just a win-win for everybody. Right. So, all right. So, I mean, for you, what do you, if you were talking to like some high school kids that were trying to, you know, get to where you were at, what, what advice would you give them? Cause I mean, dude, you're Alabama playing tight end. That's awesome, man. Yeah. I mean, if I really was to sit down with a group of kids and, and some kids were, cause I, I love doing that. I, cause I was that kid that was worried about if I was going to go to college, which I've been pretty good most of my life. And I, and my dad always told me you have a shot of doing it just cause you're big and stuff like that. And I just worked my butt off. But I mean, if I was really to sit down with a group of kids and said, what do I do if I want to play tight in Alabama, 
I would just tell them you need to focus on, first of all, you need to focus on school because so many kids get stuck, stuck in the football grind and posting stuff, posting stuff and worried about that. And they never really worry about, well, what am I doing at home? What am I doing at homework? Am I eating dinner with my family or am I playing video games by myself? You know, like you have to focus on the things that are important to you, family, school, and then football really is the last thing that you need to worry about as far as your mindset. Cause mindset's yeah. really everything when you're trying to get recruited, because right now compared to 10 years ago, it's completely different recruiting. There's, you get kids are getting scholarships when they're in eighth grade. It's completely different. So Crazy. it's way more competitive. Okay. Everybody wants to be recruited. And I would say, get your focused on your values, your, your core values that are going to carry you because when you're grinding on that Tuesday night and there's nobody there watching you, it's not a Friday night where you're scoring touchdowns, you know, those are the days that matter. Like, you have to be patient. You have to, you have to grind it out because it is a grind. You know, it's like a marathon. Mm -hmm. You can't just expect results right now. They have to come over years of years of work. And I, and I was working since I was in six, 10, 10 years old doing ladder drills with my dad, you know, like mm -hmm. that's what it takes really to, to get where you want to be. And it's funny when I got to school, like I, I talked to other guys and everybody's story was identical. Like we've been wanting this, we've been wanting to do this since fourth grade. Like we've been thinking about playing college football. Like this is our dream, you know, and yeah. it's cool that you put everything together and you finally get to where you wanted to be, you know? So I would say just work your butt off, get your values and core core values where they need to be and just put your head down and grind, man. Yeah, dude, that's, that's great advice. I think yeah, it takes, it takes so much day in day out. And then all those days add up and then your opportunities start to come because when those opportunities come, I mean, you know, uh, you gotta, you gotta knock it out of the park. Like it's, you it's do. time, yeah. you know? And so I think like, if you can learn that at a young age, just putting in the work every day and then really, you know, playing at a high level when you get the opportunity, it's right. I mean, the only result is success because you're, you're, you're prepared. You're, you're prepared. Oh, cool. yeah, no, that's huge. And then just focusing, like, like you said, like make sure your core values are right. I think that's, uh, that's huge. Cause man if your if your core values are right when you when you get on the field like like my my coach always used to say and it's kind of like a famous quote out there you know how you do one thing is how you do everything and like right. that, you know that's true like if you're if your your values are right and you're you're doing right all the time i mean you're only going to do right on the it's field gonna, it's going to translate it translates everywhere in life you, i mean even how you interact with people every day you know you try to make a positive impact on what you're de who you're dealing with day in and day out and I mean and even like like I I love just interacting with people every day like talking to them like I mean even at the drive through just being like hey how's your day you know stuff like that just like yeah. trying to make a positive impact on people and I think a lot of people forget about that now just because you get so caught up in everything that's going on in life and stuff but mm -hmm. I try to make that a big impact that's something my dad's always taught me yeah no that's that that's huge yeah that's because you know you're you're you know, you just talking to someone, saying hi to them, you know, giving them a smile, just right. change their whole day. Like literally yeah. change Definitely. their whole day, hold the door for someone. I don't know. Yeah, that's huge. That's huge, man. Man, for sure. Dang, man. Well, it's been great having you on. Uh, Heck yeah. oh, man, excited for you, man. I'm going to be watching you. I'm, a lot of people, everyone listening to this is going to be watching you too. For sure. I, uh, we got a couple guys that are probably going to be drafted next year. So I, I won't be starting this year, but hopefully next year I'll definitely be able to score score a couple of touchdowns and shout out connect nil hey that's the one <laughs> we'll, be, we'll be watching man i'm excited for, sure, I'm excited for you. you got you got everything so yeah thank you i yeah. appreciate it hey appreciate it yep. all right everyone tune in next week for uncle bronson's podcast appreciate y'all